Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today I'm here for part 3 on my basics, or whatever I'm gonna call this, but uh, my beginner's breakdown for My Hero 1's Justice 2, and today I'm gonna be quickly talking about how scaling works in this game. And if you don't know what scaling is, it's essentially the concept of attacks doing less damage after certain attacks hit. And it's a, an aspect of games, in all games, um, that is implemented so that you don't have 100% combos. So as you can see, if I show this move on its own does 3000 damage, but if I do it in a combo like after something like this, and then I do it, you can see there the last hit was it, 1587, that's a lot less than 3000. But that just goes off of the principle that after more attacks hit, um, other attacks will do less damage. And that's to stop you from getting an 100% combo and completely destroying their entire health bar. And uh, yeah, that's the very basics of scaling. But in this game, something very unusual uh, happens, and it's not something that happens in many games. And things scale, even if it's not in a combo. So as you can see, these two hits that I'm doing are doing less and less damage the more and more of them I do. So it started off like, what, 2000 or something? And now it's down to like 700, lower, 600, 620, and it's getting smaller every time. And you, there's probably... So, if I did a combo, that would be really low damage. And why is that? Um, and I think it's because the developers wanted to stop really high damage resets in this game, like they were in the last game. But uh, it results in some pretty weird things. So like, if I've done some staggers and I go into do a combo now, that was a very weird combo, but it did nearly no damage because I've done some staggers and stuff before. And um, yeah, that's just something really important to keep in note when you're um, playing this game. So whether it's a projectile or something, if the opponent doesn't fall to the ground or recover, if they can't, if they don't recover, fall to the ground or get meteor blown, like if I do something. See, that's a meteor blow there. My attack that comes after this isn't gonna um, have the same scaling. It's gonna have reset damage scaling because after a meteor blow, a recovery or a, just a wake up from the ground after falling down. Um, damage scaling is reset. And that's something to keep in note, because even if you have the opponent in the air, that doesn't mean their damage is reset. So if I do something like this, he's not actually getting to recover, because these things that Mirio does, they, um, uh, they don't let the opponent recover, and they're a reset in the air. But if you do too many of these, oops, I kind of messed up. But as you can see, if I do more and more of these, Damage is getting less and less um, every time I do it. And that's because it's scaling, because the opponent hasn't recovered, fallen down, or been hit by a meteor blow. And uh, the only other way for the uh, scaling to get reset is if it's after about like a five second wait. So if I wait that long and then come in and do the same thing again, it'll be the same amount of damage. It only really applies if it's like under five seconds. Like, see, even there when I waited like quite a long time the scaling's still there it's it's a really harsh mechanic because it it kind of nullifies daggers and stuff in this game which are usually a really important aspect of other games and it can really lower the damage of your combos if you're not camp careful but yeah it's an important aspect to keep in mind so if, say if I'm, i don't have projectiles but if you're someone like toga you know if you're thrown out your quad two or you, you know, your knives and stuff, and you've been throwing a bunch of projectiles, pretend these are projectiles, and you know, I've hit them with a bunch of projectiles from really far away, you know, pretend these are Toka's knives or something, or Endeavor's flames, that the opponent's still standing, and then I run in and go to do a combo. The opponent might be meteor blown, I'll do like no damage, um, and that's because they're still being scaled from those projectiles hitting them. So that's something really important to keep in mind. So if I've been throwing projectiles, or I've done a reset or something, I either want to wait for a few seconds before I go in and attack and do my combo and not do it immediately after projectiles, or I want to do something that'll put the opponent in the air or put them onto the ground where they will be, um, the scaling will be reset. Maybe it's a meteor blow or a, a, like just falling onto the ground or letting them recover. You just want to let them do something so that you don't have completely low damage. But yeah, 
that's the concept of scaling. Um, just a quick little video letting you know on that mechanic, because I feel like it's not something many people understand. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oops. <laughs> Bye.